Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, I want to share with you a video uh, that I just took a little while ago. And where we are at <clears throat> is not really on any major flight path. Certainly not in the direction that these are all going from. Um, so this is a short one and then I want to show you some other stuff just to give you some things to think about. Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, um, just out here enjoying the clear blue skies in nature. Uh, well, there's a little C-H-E-M-T-R-A-I-L-I-N-G going on. In case you can't tell, this is not a flight path. There's, there's no, you know, airport right by us. Uh, it's crazy. So why plaster the skies like this? What's going on? You know, if you are protecting people from rays of the sun, why are you doing it in a place that has less than one person per square mile? You know, there's no reason for this that we know of. So what's really going on? How do we know anybody getting sick is not getting sick because of what we see in the sky right now? You know, it's, we don't. It's just absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you. God bless and namaste. So, you know, I was just going to upload that, but then... I uh, thought it'd be better to include some stuff just so you guys could understand what what is out there. And here you see D-A-R-P-A. -A. For many of you guys, uh, you recognize DARPA and many maybe don't. But DARPA is basically, it's an arm of the military and they develop stuff that makes James Bond drool. Uh, and also stuff that could terrify a, a lot of us as well. So DARPA is developing tiny implants that trigger self-healing. Uh, these are so small, you know what? You could actually breathe them in. Or they could also be inserted via a needle, if you know what I mean. Um, so this is right out there. This is right out there. This this is, and I have all the links for you guys. Um it's right out there. It's technology uh, that is already, you know, available, really, and uh, in use, more than likely. So this is one of the things. These, these little nanobots can get inside and just go, you know, traveling through your bloodstream. Maybe they're traveling through your bronchial tubes, perhaps, right? Uh, they could. The technology is right there. They could go through the circuitry of your brain. Pretty wild stuff. And uh, this is out of Activist Post. Secret DARPA Mind Control Project Revealed. Leaked document. And so a whistleblower reveals military mind control project at major university. What if the government could change people's moral beliefs or stop political dissent through remote control of people's brains? Do you think they would do it? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, a leaked document reveals the U.S. government, through DARPA research, is very close to accomplishing this. And by this time now, it probably is a done deal. Activist Post was recently contacted by an anonymous whistleblower who worked on a secret ongoing mind control project for DARPA. Aim of the program is to remotely disrupt political dissent and extremism by employing transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, in tandem with sophisticated propaganda based on this technology. So TMS stimulates the temporal lobe of the brain with electromagnetic fields. So what if, just throwing this out there, what if uh, a lot of what we see, you know, up in the skies all the time, 
are perhaps, you know, some of them things that could get into our bodies and affect our electromagnetic fields. And perhaps when triggered by something like F, I, V, E, G, (laughs) uh, could bring about some sort of mind-altering effect. Interesting how, you know, they loop around and come back to hit populated areas again. Uh, you know, this, this is actually going between two little towns of, you know, less, anywhere between 500 and 1,000 people. Um, boy, they're really making sure that they get everybody, aren't they? Interesting, huh? You know, why hasn't this program stopped if, uh, you know, those in charge and in the White House right now are truly out for looking out for us? Well, this is all fascinating stuff. So the program conducted by the Center for Strategic Communications based at Arizona State University, the DARPA funding for the project can be confirmed on the ASU website, and there's a link. The head of the project, Steve Corman, has worked extensively in the area of strategic communication as it applies to terrorism and extremism, or what could be called the War of Ideas. So, Corman's latest project, narrating the exit from Afghanistan, and his many presentations make it quite obvious that the mission is to shape the narrative and literally change people's minds one way or another. Interesting stuff, is this not? So, hmm, what's really going on up there? As you see, there's a video here for deactivating certain parts of the brain. You know... And this is DARPA's website, if you guys want to go through and look. It's all about national security. Well, it's more about corporate security when you get down to it. And uh, the security of the less than one-tenth of one percent that really controls everything. This is a wild little video showing tiny little drones that are so small you might think it was a gnat that went by. And yet they could be somewhere anywhere, just watching you 24-7, 365, and you'll never know. You might think it's a it's a gnat, or maybe it's a mosquito, something annoying going by. I swear, actually, I've seen that in uh, when we were in North Carolina, honestly. So interesting. You know, that might not be a bug that's buzzing by your ear right now, guys. And this... Whew, oh... This is a mind-blowing one, too. you got to check out this video. Here he's showing a uh, a tiny little drone. And it's it's right there, right next to him. And then at one point, he takes it and, you know, it lands in his hand. Right? Notice this, you know, little mannequin, what have you over there. He throws it up in the air. And it takes off, comes right here. It has it has a charge in it. And it basically does the same thing as if the person was shot by like a 45 at point, point blank range. It, so it has an explosive charge in it, explodes on contact, takes out the target. These are your, your tax dollars uh, at work right here. So next time that were, you know, out there, out and about. You might want to look up and really wonder what's up in those skies and even what's already perhaps in our bodies at the same time. So, my friends, as always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. God bless and namaste.